joining us today. I have Tommy with us and he's going to be sharing about his success and what he's done so far being a part of the mentorship and also implementing things in his business. So Tommy, it's over to you. If you can tell everybody who's listening who you are and what it is you do. Right. Uh, Thomas Heiser from Redcar. I've been a plumber and well, plumbing and heating engineer since I've left school, 16 year old. Uh, I've been in business, self-employed for four years now, uh, or four years in March. Uh, I've now got my own shop and I've got, uh, I think there's 10 people at the moment working for me. So in the space of three years, uh, I've gone from, well, four years since I started, myself in a van to obviously 10 people working for me now, mm-hmm. serving the local area. Serving the local area. So what do you think it is, Tommy, that, because when we first met, you were just in a van on your own doing it all, weren't you? Um, those years ago. So like, what do you think it is that's enabled you to go and grow the business in that short period of time? Uh, the first, the first uh, part of it really was when I'd, I'd done the property training with Stephen and we started looking into mindset. Uh, now over, I think that was March 2017, I think. Uh, and it wasn't until I did a week's training with Gemma that although some, some parts of the mindset had sort of sunk in, it wasn't until we, I did the week's course with Gemma and like I say, we looked into the mindset again that quite a bit dropped into place. Uh, another massive part of that week was, I was talking through it with Gemma and uh, the business that I was in at the, like, or my business. Uh, it was being able to take a step back and look at my business, how it was, and look at the areas, some that I was good at, some that I was trying to do that I was maybe not so good at, um, taking a step back and looking at ways to make everything easier, make things more simple for me, so that meant to bring in staff to do some of the jobs that I wasn't good at, my admin, my invoicing, everything like that. Um, but I'd say the top, a, a, lot, a lot of getting my business from there to now was the mindset to keep pushing, really, I'd have thought. But, yeah, it was definitely the, the mindset part of it that has, like, given me the sort of uh, motivation and everything and not to be really daunted by taking people on wage bills uh, and looking at everything in a different way to basically... So, for example, wages, if I looked at a wa- somebody's wage and it was 26000 if I broke it down to £500 a week, in a day's, say it was £100 a day for a tradesman, if you look at the big thing and you think, oh, it's twenty-six grand, by breaking everything down how I did, it gives me, it's just given me a... What would you call it? It just made everything easier yeah. to be able to take more people on, not be daunted by having to get £26,000 worth of work, but by having to get a, a day's work for a joiner at £100. I can do that uh, all day long. So it's, it was just about breaking it down and chunking it down rather than looking at the whole big wage bill. And actually, do, do you think with that as well then? It wasn't just looking at the wage bill, it was like, did you look at bringing people on board as a cost or as an investment? Uh, it was definitely a, an investment. So the, when I started looking at employing people and I looked at the wages, what it's going to cost me per year, I divided everything up into the day rate. I knew that worst case scenario, I can subby them out mm-hmm. at that at, to cover that cost. So it was never ever, even if I could put them let working for other people every day of the year, it wouldn't be costing me the twenty six thousand pound. Where 
obviously looking at it as a as an investment I knew that worst case scenario I subbed them out but all the time that they're working for me and they're making profit it, it was an investment it was just changing the way I looked at the bigger picture to the individual things and uh, or the, like the day rates knowing that well, it's not a cost it's just um, I subbed them out it isn't a cost because it, it's going to be covered. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So what was it then? Do you know when what what did it enable you to do when you started to grow like change your mindset on it, look at it in a completely different way, chunk it all down. When you started bringing people on board, what did that enable you to do? Right. Thinking back uh, to the March uh, when I did the training, it must have been twenty eighteen. Uh, I had a good look at the sort of faults with me, or the faults with my business. So when Gemma broke everything down into being the technician, uh, what's the other ones, the, the manager, yeah. and I, I, and because I was doing everything, I'd been a, uh, was always behind, or I'd find myself at the end of the month, working till 12 o'clock at night, trying to get me invoices out. So the first thing that I needed to do was take on uh, somebody to do, to pick up the admin. Yeah. Uh, and I needed, in order for me to grow, I needed to get more organised. Uh, I'm probably coming away from the question a bit now, just remind me on. No, I just said, what What was it that, like, once you started chunking it down, what did that enable you to do? Yeah, you know, oh to, yes, so... To, what did that free you up to do, and do you think that had an impact on the business growth so much quicker? By taking the admin on? Yeah, just by changing your mindset on it, bringing people on, on board. Because like, I know there'll be a lot of people listening. And when, when you have your business, it's your baby. And when you're doing everything in it, you know what I mean? You do it your own way. And sometimes that whole step of expanding a business or actually stepping away from the tasks that you do, even if you don't like them, can be quite scary. Right. So, like, for anybody listening, <clears throat> it's like understanding, isn't it, that whole... Stepping away from something when you know that you've got like how it runs, and then what that enabled you to do when you got past that and that mindset side of it, what did that right. enable you to do? So, in the whole business, because I know you just then started just snowballing. So I had uh, one lad working with me from about October twenty seventeen. He started doing a lot, a lot of the the daily jobs that I'd be doing, going out fitting bathrooms, which then freed me up more time. I then took uh, the joiner on, uh, so it was late on in 20, uh, when will it have been? 2018 I think, so then he come on board, then I, like I said, the, the more work I was get, getting, the more I was, I'd started getting people in to give me a hand, but then they were going out and doing it, so it, it let me take on more work, obviously Thinking back from then, from now till then, the sort of admin side, the accounts, everything was, in all honesty, it was messy. Mm -hmm. It was chaotic and everything like that. So when I did Gemma's training, I had this sort of, me little business that was growing, uh, but chao cha it was just chaos really, yeah. or the, that bit, because I wasn't very good at it. Taking the admin on, I started to get invoices out, uh, get quotes out, get uh, my accounts sorted, more up to date. If I look at then till, well, now till then, the lady who I've got doing my accounts at the moment, she's, I think, uh, another level up, she's a chartered accountant. Everything's up to date, uh, but I think by replacing myself in certain areas, it that's the bit that's probably allowed me to grow by being able to look at things more than I used to, because I, I'm not saying that I am busy, I'm still very busy, but I'm busy in different areas now. Yeah. So I'm busy keeping an eye on the people who are out doing the jobs. I'm busy, I'm still doing a few jobs which I, I shouldn't be, but I am uh, in the short term, but yeah, having the mindset 
where I can take people on to do that, replace, like I said, originally you, the lady who come in to do the admin, it was four boiler services a week, which would take me, what, roughly 45 minutes yeah. per service. But that sort of, say three hours, that would cover her wage, but... Um, I like how you framed that. I like it a lot because you've you've looked at a position and then looked at the wage and then gone right. Well, how, what do I need to do in the business to what would that be an equivalent of my, my jobs? And when you brought that down, like that's four boiler services yeah. in a week. It's like no brainer, isn't it? Like why and the hell am I feeling this pain and doing all this stuff? I dare say, what she could do in sixteen hours would take me a full week. Yeah. So when I started looking at everything like that, and I, it was actually boil services that I looked at and thought, well, it's four boil services, it's 10 boil services. Yeah. You know, when, yeah. when, when I started looking at that and I'm thinking, well, it, it's a day's work, or if, I, if I, it, it was just, like you say, breaking everything down really. It was just like a, a real game changer yeah. uh, to be able to do that, to allow me to take people on, to obviously replace me in areas. Uh, yeah, good uh, Good thing that. Everything's boiler services now. <laughs> so everybody that comes on, it's like, how many boiler services are you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm now working harder doing about 4,000 boiler services a year now. <laughs> so, Tommy, from that then, right, from being you in a band to now the team you've got and having people do these things that you didn't enjoy doing, what was it that made you then decide, obviously, you... you, you been on the mindset, you've done that side, you've been on previous training of mine and everything. What was it that made you decide to change, to actually join the mentorship and be part of that for the 12 months? Uh, and why do you think that was, obviously to you, to do that is probably important and why? So for, uh, for the me mentorship, I looked at uh, where my business went off your week's training to where it was. Mm -hmm. And it... Like I say, if I look if I look at where my business has gone from doing a week's training with you, obviously signing up to the mentorship, I'm nowhere near anything sort of finished article in business, but But are we ever? Yeah, the, we like ever? I said, with everything that this year's thrown up at us and everything, it's always gonna be changing, but in order dependent I'm having a few thoughts at the moment which sort of direction I'm going I'm maybe going to change to what I was maybe a year ago uh, but um, the sort of tools that you've give us marketing uh, the cash flow sort of stuff that we've looked at it's all different bits and some of, some of it the, like the cash flow thing I'm even looking at it in my own personal life yeah. for managing my money and uh yeah, the, the the mentorship, so far what we've done obviously has been, if doubt COVID, we're, we're maybe a bit behind on the schedule and everything, but in order for, for me to go in whichever direction I am with the business, I know that I don't need more mentorship, but I know this is going to apply to anything that I put me, put me hand to really, yeah. whether it be the property stuff, everything just complements each other now. Mm -hmm. Thing. Yeah. So, like, you invest quite heavily in yourself, and would you ever stop doing that? And why do you think it's important to invest in yourself for a start, or have a, a mentor? Uh, so, I've invested quite a bit uh, to date, and it's something that I'm going to do continuously, really. Uh, whether it's books, mentorship. Uh, more training. I'm going to be doing more training at some point. I, I speak to people all the time, and uh, when you take a look back, if I didn't do it, I'd still be banging my head against the wall. I'd still be the man in a van, choosing who he answers his phone to, going to the jobs where the the shouting at me the loudest to go not ringing people back, not, not texting people back. Um, the, men, the mentorship and the training that I've done so far, like I say, I see people exactly where I was four years ago 
but they won't they won't go do it so even as much as I tell people that look with this you're going to save yourself a lot of time you're going to be able to streamline your business you're going to what was I say? Pick, but they won't do it because they don't they're sort of caught up in it um, people won't do it as much as they'd like to they'll look at it as a cost they won't look at the return that they can get on that investment they won't look at how that they can speed the growth of the business up they should do but they don't um, what would you say what would you say to the ones that you say won't do it what would you say to them they're stupid <laughs> The, well, the, uh, the short-sighted, in all in all honesty, that I look at people's like and like I say, I'm not saying my business is perfect, but I still see a lot of people. They're still using the same marketing techniques that they were in 1990. The the, the world's changed, yeah. and pe- people get comfortable with maybe uh, the income that they get getting. They probably want more, but they don't know how to get it. If they were to change the way they think and think, well, actually, look, I, it is going to cost me a bit of money. If I look at the, the money I've spent on mine, I've changed my life, the, my family's life, uh, my children's life, my unborn children's lives, uh, because I've took that uh, that step and invested in myself, so people won't do it, probably because of all the things people say when they do start doing things differently, because, uh, but yeah, pe- people need to do it. Yeah. I'd like to say everyone would, but they, they, but they won't. But in my point of view, uh, it's something that, obviously now, I, now I've started doing it, I'd be stupid to stop. Uh, like I say, I'm, my business is going to change. I'm not a finished article, and there's all everything moves forward year after year. Everything changes, and you need to keep up with that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just think it's just the security that people want. If they've they've got their own little business and the, their own bit of income, I'm, and I'm not knocking it. If that's 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 where you want to be, great. If you do want to grow. I don't see any reason why you wouldn't want to do it. If you wanted to go offshore, you'd go to a college and pay to do your survival. You'd go to a rope access course. You'd invest in yourself in that way. But people look at it now and they might have a business, but they won't invest in that training. But, and people who I know, they go do the rope access, they go, and great and the investing in, in themselves to go get a decent paid job. But if you invest in yourself and your business, what was I gonna say? You, you, they, look at it, they look at those two things, their way of doing it and my way of doing it, as two, their way's right and my way's right, where I'd have to argue that, well actually, you could, uh, if you went and learnt about this business, you could have, you could be sending the people offshore, you know what I mean, to do your work, but they won't do it, the tunnel vision probably. Yeah, yeah. So, from the mentorship, what do you think's the biggest things you've taken to date and implemented? Oh, to date? <laughs> uh, what have I got? There's probably, from where my business was to where I am at the moment, there's been too many changes. Um, I can't even tell you, but it's just it's organised. I think the I think the biggest thing with your training, Gemma, has been being able to take a step back and get organised. The more organised and disciplined you are with your business and how things are running the more it's going to enable any business to grow. Um, all the other little bits and bobs that you've taught us up to now, 
your marketing, your cash flow, understanding cash flow, that's massive. Uh, there's t- there's too many there's there's too much stuff that I've learned over the last couple of years. I'll be here for weeks, <laughs> but what else can I say? The bit the biggest thing, I I, can't, I couldn't tell you the biggest thing because I've used lots of the lots of your training in lots of different areas. Like I say, it's changed my business to get it from where it was to where it's at now in a short space of time. Yeah. I know people have worked for 30 years and they've got a business my size, might be more well known and everything, but yeah. It's took them 30 years. It's took them 30 years, it's took me three. Yeah. And I know if I wanted to, and I know with the training, with my mindset, if I wanted to take that this company to 30 people, 50 people, 100 employees, I can do it. And it all sort of comes from the sort of organisation that the that I've been able to sort of put together. Yeah. Like I say, Tracy's in the office now. Like I say, she's, uh, I think it's level four accountant. Mm-hmm. We're taking on another admin. She's coming in Monday. Be partner. She's uh, coming in full time early next year. I've got all that organisation in the office, which I'm bad at, but I knew I was bad at it, so I had to go get it. Uh, I'm going to have all of that, so, and I know that I need all of that to be able to do this bit, to do that bit, yeah. to do that bit. It's just, uh, it's exactly, it's just up to me how big I want to go, how quick. Yeah. I suppose. And I suppose, like you said there, like, you've become aware of what needed to be filled, who needs to fill it, and what you want you to do in, in the business. And also, knowing that if you want to grow as big as you want to grow it, you can, but you're having a choice in that. Yeah, like exactly, that, yeah. That being your decision, how big do I want this business to be and what direction do I want it to go in, rather than the business completely taking over and growing arms and legs, and mm. you just find yourself well, lost in it. Before Gemma's training, there was people coming in, I think there was, they were just subbing for me, but they were working with me all the time. But when I did the training with you in the March, I decided there and then that to give it, to get it to where I wanted to be, it needed the structure. So I gave myself four months. I went from being a sole trader, paying the lads out my bank as money was coming in and bits and bobs. I needed that structure. I needed a bit more of the admin. I know we started using the CRM, we started using the Stripe. Yeah. We were able to take the payments, we were able to run a diary better. Oh, well, 10 times better. Not 100%, like even to now, mm-hmm. because I interfere with stuff still. <laughs> and uh, I'm coming away from doing yeah. that. Uh, yeah, it's... Just starting to automate it all. It is. It's, ju- it's just getting everything working. And it's like I say, it's down to me to go as big or as small as I want now. Mm-hmm. Uh I'm I'm happy with where, with where I am. I think I'll have a good ten. Uh, I'm gonna run with it for a bit. My missus is gonna come in and uh, start working full time. But you uh, wanted, that was one of the things you wanted to do, wasn't it? To be yeah. able to take Danny out of the out of her job and have the flexibility of coming to the business as well, wasn't it? Yeah, because she's good at yeah organising me for a start. Uh, and she's good at what she does, really. Yeah. And she's good at doing. She's good in the office, really. So she's going to take the reins and let me uh, chill out a bit. <laughs> and how does that feel to have got to that goal? Uh, the last three years, I've been really busy. Uh, but at the same time, I know I spoke to you on the phone yesterday mm-hmm. and I spoke with Danny last night. How does it feel? It, it, it feels great to know that I've got it to where it's at at the moment. But at, at the same time, uh, when I spoke to you yesterday and I spoke to Danny last night, my role's changed and we're going to get sit down at Christmas, yeah. reassess my role. I'm coming off the tolls 100%. I got sucked back in because I couldn't get a gas engineer because uh, that wasn't originally intended in to be in July, uh, on my bir- on my 35th birthday, 
I said that I was get, uh, coming off the tolls. Yeah. Got myself some nice shirts and trousers and that. Uh, I've been sucked back in, but I know that my time with what I do know now is going to be better spent doing in, in a different role now to going out and doing the repairs and bits and bobs that I have been doing. Yeah. And it's, it, it is a good feeling, really, to know that I'm going to have more time. I did say that I want to be able to pick uh, my daughters up from school, take them, yeah. drop them off at school, work the time in between. It isn't, in all honesty, it isn't far off now. I'm yeah. starting to pick her up a bit more. Uh, yeah, I'd like to say, it's good and it, it's nice to know that with the people who are doing the jobs, and the, the, I'm, I'm still running stuff a bit, but like I say, we're working now towards me not having to run it. Yeah. We're working towards me doing different a different role uh, and really getting a bit more time back. Having more freedom. More time That's and yeah. freedom, yeah. yeah. That's to, great. Well, so what would you say, <clears throat> or what do you think is the key to getting results in the mentorship or the, or the training? What do you think is the key that to getting results? Uh, you need to implement everything. Or you need... Yeah. You need... Uh, as lo you, you can learn as much as you want, but I think uh, you need a great big pair of bollocks to go put this stuff into, into ac action. Uh, maybe at times might have been a bit too big. Uh, <laughs> but I, I suppose we, we, without that... Without the mindset as well, I'd I'd probably still be in a van. I dare say, I dare say, if I didn't put any of this training in uh, use, I dare say I'd be back working for a company now. Right. Uh, because I can see, I see and, and there's like a constant cycle of plumbing and heating engineers. They come, they do three years, they go back working for a firm. Because there's they're good at the job. But they aren't good at the other areas, the business, yeah. and they they don't know that. They think because they're good at doing this, they can do everything, and they can't. So I dare say, without any of the training, without the mentorship and everything, without the mindset, I dare say I'd, I'd be either still in a van, but everything builds up that much behind you, and you've got your tax to do, you've got yeah. your tax returns, you've got your invoicing. I know people who are still owed money from when they were working for himself and they're back at a firm and they, they go back to the comfort, you know what I mean, where wages yeah. coming in and I don't know. But like I say, because they don't get the other areas right, which I'm starting to yeah. get organised and like I say, it's, it's more disciplined if anything, mm -hmm. uh, less chaotic, yeah. still a bit chaotic, but I'm getting on top of like everything to... Well, that, that comes, doesn't it? Because you're growing and you're expanding and things are changing all the time. So that, that does come. But like you said, you're aware of that and you put things in place and you and you manage that now rather than it all being on you like it was before. It's a team effort now. It is, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to say, I'm looking at different areas uh, for my business and, like I say, a letting side of it. I'm looking to go down management, uh, in the near future, not straight away, but I know that it's going to need, as, as my business grows in one area, I'm going to need that to support it because, yeah. what was I going to say, I, as, as I'm building in that area, I know that it needs something else, which I, I know that now, I've identified everything what I need to do in that area, so I'm going to do it. So you'll um, cre create your own synergy, your own economy, within all of your own businesses. It is, yeah. So you become one of the main clients in there as well. I am at the moment. Yeah. With us doing the property stuff. But going down the sourcing route, which I intend to do, uh, which I'm nearly there with, mm -hmm. uh, and obviously we'll be doing, I'm going to be offering a turnkey service for investors. Right. So it'll be uh, da -da -da -da, sourcing the property, managing the renovation, renovating it, managing it, maintaining it so there's going to be five areas that they're all going to feed back into trusted plumbing and heating right. and like I say create my own economy possibly in the future as that side of it grows I might cut down on 
I might, I'll probably work for fewer clients really yeah. and maybe not do as many of the day to day jobs uh, as I'm doing now. Uh, like I say, the business has changed from where I was four years ago to where I'm going and where I'm at now to where it's going to be in a few. But like I say, I'll look at the different areas yeah. and see what's working mm-hmm. and what isn't. And the things that you've been that you're aware of, the six areas. Do you feel like they're things you can take now in any business and implement and put in to place? So the mindset, the systemization, team building, uh, marketing. I'm already sales. Uh, looking at another business uh, that's going to be actually buying a business. Uh, I think everything that I know now, and I've learned other things and. Like I say, I know that I was saying to Jemmy yesterday about maybe having to go at something different as yeah. a bit of a challenge because, like I say, all these bits and bits and bobs, when they're all put together correctly, it would apply to any business. I, I, I see myself in a few years' time uh, investing more into different businesses uh, where all the people will be there are going to be the good technicians and I have and I think to myself that look if I was to give them a sort of kick up the ass and put them into I, I know that I could help them grow the business as well and may take a sort of back seat of them yeah. as well but like I said not men, not mentor well probably mentoring them a bit but having a bit of a an input into them I'm already looking at it and I'm thinking well if my niece can go do that training I reckon I could uh, jump in and <laughs> set her up in business yeah uh, properly and uh, other people I've just done a job for somebody and I, I think I could watching them they're doing no different to what I was four years ago uh, and I'm thinking to myself, well, I could probably help help them as well, and yeah, a bit. But everything sort of, that you uh, know now and what you do in your business. Yes, yeah, like Peter Jones or something. <laughs> yeah. uh, a big. I'm just going to turn into a dragon the next few years. <laughs> I think. <laughs> like that. I'm in. <laughs> so, what advice finally would you give to the listeners if they're in business right now, maybe struggling or wanting to expand? What advice would you give them that? If they're wanting to improve, what would be your piece of advice for them? Uh, get somebody who's... You, you're going to need to know... You, your knowledge is only going to be limited. Mine was limited. I thought I knew everything until I did Gemma's Week's training. And I was banging, sat there banging my head on the table. Because she was giving me all this information. A lot of it's common sense. But you don't know something until you know it. Yeah. And it, like a lot of it, I was, like I say, I was banging my head on the table. I was thinking, well, it's common sense, isn't it? But with everything that I got compacted into a short space of time, the ongoing mentorship, I'm learning all the time, mm-hmm. uh, learning different areas. Some I know that I'm no good at some that I don't want to be any good at. Yeah. But I'm learning that type of thing. So I can tell people and get people to do do stuff in a certain way. Yeah. I think people need to either be content with where they are, but if the, if you've got something that you're needing to go do or you think that look, I want to do this and I want to do it better, go do a mentorship. Uh go and, speak to somebody it might not be for you and you might choose to stay as you are if you're wanting to go and grow and like i say free some time up you need you need to do it because i'm not saying that you won't get there i might have done but then again i might have been back working for a firm i could have been content really but i wasn't Mm -hmm. i knew i needed to do more and you was capable of doing more even before I, like I did any training but you need to go do it uh, it's going to speed you up it's going to get results uh, 
like I say, it's going to get you some time back as well in the process. Yeah. No. There's a. Uh, there's more talk all day. <laughs> no, thank you, Tommy. Thank you all for right. sharing, and you know, I just want to say well done to you for your results because you take everything, and then you see a vision with it, and then you implement it as well. And you don't yeah. ever just sit back and just expect. Oh, the well, going back, to it. going back to one of your questions. <laughs> uh, one of the early, earlier questions. I had a bit of a vision, but it was it wasn't clear enough. Doing the training with you has allowed me to look at where I want my business to be and where I want it to go. Yeah, it's changing. Yeah. It's always going to change. And it, like I say, I might cut back on some things, I might push forward on others, but it's also having that vision of where I want to be. And that that's to do with the property, to do with the business, to do with, well, a lot of things in life, really. Uh, so yeah, you help me create a, a clearer vision of where I want to be, although it does change. <laughs> but you get there. Yeah. Absolutely. No, thank you, Tommy. And right. thanks for sharing with the audience, you know, your journey and what you've done. And I know that there'll be a lot more to come from you. Yeah. Yep, no doubt. No doubt. Thank Both you. I hope you've had great value from what Tommy's just shared there with his business and the things he's implemented. Remember to like, share and subscribe and in the description below there will be a link for you to hit to find out more and also to book on to a call. Take care. <laughs> <laughs> How was that? <laughs>